Let's go. Let's. The new talks today are from Track Track Tactical TV. I'm here with Montanique and Paul. And Hello. Hi guys. And, oh, and, so and the alarm's just gone on in the in the in the, in the gun shop. Okay, so welcome and uh, it's been an absolutely crazy week. And it's not even like a day, it didn't even feel like a week. <laughs> and uh, to, it's not finished yet. No, it's not. I no, think not uh, uh, tomorrow we've got to we'll talk about that and I'll still have an interview on Saturday also which we can talk about. But it's the, the weekend is also gone. Yeah. Oi. Let's talk okay. about the Type 56 Christmas. Alright, so the exciting That's thing is the, is the Go Set Christmas members giveaway. That's moving. Yeah. Um, we sent reminders out to the guys. Some of the guys missed their first reminders. and So they're happy to be entered in. Yeah. Guys are checking their membership, which is good. Yeah. Um, I think we'll confirm entries probably by the end of next week. Just say, listen guys, you guys are actually entered in. Yeah. You know, just yes, yes. keep just, them just, the card on the page. Just to be absolutely clear with everyone. There are two APs that we give. Yes. Two Type 56s that we give. Yes. Right? And we're giving one away to existing members. Right? And members that are new. Yes. Now before... Before the, before, before the draw, the draw, the draw. Yes. and we're giving the other one away to, to new the new members. Here. So everybody gets a chance. Yes, okay. everyone gets Fantastic. a chance. So the guys are excited. Um, you know, I think it's yeah. very happy. No. <laughs> it's Gee. a nice opportunity. A nice Christmas. Yes. Uh, Nice and get a nice, a nice stocking full of them. <laughs> 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 we're going to stop that. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. A long rugby sock. <laughs> 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 no, these are not big, they're underfolders, so maybe if it's a very large sock, uh, it might fit. Yeah, it still won't. So that's lacquer. So keep guys, just again, you know, check your membership, send us a mail. Yeah. We'll and and the fourth list you. was thanks to the kind sponsorship from, from Spot and Arms. Arms. Thank you to Thanks, them. Debbie. <laughs> I know some people you haven't been able to answer yet, so please yes, try to just be patient. It's a thing with like uh, 200 males or something, so guys, yeah. just be pa guys and girls, mm -hmm. please just be patient. So we first started our Girls on Fire 16 Days of Action for No Violence Against Women and Children uh, in conjunction with the 16 Days of Activism yeah. uh, from the United Nations. Because like, we don't believe in activism, we believe in action. There's been so a action couple speak of, louder than words. Yeah, there's been a couple of statistics that came out and it is horrific. Uh, South Africa and worldwide, uh, what is happening with GDZ. I do not agree with uh, partly with the... Uh, um, South African, uh, what, what, what they're actually promoting in terms of that for this year. Mm -hmm. They were looking at uh, uh, positive masculinity and stuff like that, which oh, I have no idea. What does that mean? I don't know something in that line, Lord. which really doesn't mean anything. It's all about actually, for us, it's about action for people, for, for women not to be. Uh, yeah, so so they're, they're the works, we're the awakes. Yeah. There's a difference, a vast Absolutely. difference. Please watch out, we've started posting some videos, there is some awesome videos already and there will be some awesome uh, interviews in the future. Oh, sorry. That's so... Sorry. sorry guys, I just kicked Uji's ball. It went, it went between the legs of the, of the, of the, the camera tripod. Which was no good. And, and, and we almost had a, the 70 kilogram Rottweiler upsetting the camera. You'd be really upset that you're calling him 70 kilograms, you know, 68. Wow, okay. <laughs> That's two kilograms so two kilograms. I've got an interview with uh, Ina Bonnet on um, uh, Sunday. Uh, the Morning Morning Monster, uh, so that's going to be of the Morning Morning Monster, uh, please. And yeah. um, I've also got a very interesting interview which will be aired in the next week or two uh, with uh, Tanya Kuhn, uh, with, uh, that she talks about what is happening with the parole system in South Africa which is totally failing victims at this yeah. time, which included in a bonnet, it included people like Alison Bieta, um, so we talk about that as well. Alison is doing a hell of a lot better for everybody that's contributed. Thank you yeah. very much. So and, video and, and this and morning. She thanks, she thanks you guys all that helps. Right. So please, yeah, she said she could she didn't know that this was happening until she actually she came around or came around so. So, right. thank you very much for everybody that's contributed. But please And I think amongst everybody I think that 
half a million rand in turn. Right? To, to help with the medical expenses. That was the last time we checked and that's when it happened a couple of weeks ago. So. Yeah. Wow. So guys, big ups to everybody that, that chipped in. He's definitely going to need it. It's a long, um, long recovery process. And uh, hopefully there's going to be some good news about her. Uh, we are dealing with the parole system in terms of her case and a couple of other people's cases. Okay. So um, his uh, support goes on fire, 16 days of action and support by going to watch the videos um, and supporting yeah. victims. It is important, guys. Yeah, I think listen out. Just listen to what women go through. And... Um, Take action on that, yeah. that you're not going to be the next victim. Yeah. And so, you know, I think that's important. Absolutely important. And as I said, we've got awesome interviews uh, this year. Mm -hmm. um, we eat and Andy Carver, and there's fantastic ones coming up. Good. Strong woman. Strong woman. <laughs> yeah. Tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow we have the last Girls on Fire intro to handguns for the year. Yeah. Um, and in conjunction with that, uh, we're going to be there with the 50 cal. Monty and I will be out there with the, the ghost of 50 cal, um, selling shots, uh, because that's what we do, not those kind of shots. <laughs> you understand what I mean? Um, the boom kind of shots. And uh, yeah. Um, come in, have a come and have fun a blast. time. Have and a you can have a look at our introduction to handguns. Uh, come see how the ladies shoot and the so fun that we have on the range. I'm busy with the program for next year and um, I'm trying to put in two additional things above our introduction to handguns that we have at Sizzle Pain, which we're going to have in two months again. Yeah, uh, we have, long guns. We do the introduction to long guns and I'm also trying to add a global introduction to handguns because I've been asked a lot. And then one at Valcom, which I've also been asked for. Excellent. So uh, I'm going to schedule that uh, for, the, for, for the coming year. That schedule should mm. be out uh, within the next week or so. Good. Okay. Uh, and then we had a nice surprise this morning from our colleague and friend, Martin Hood, um, who, who uh, produced a video where he confirms that uh, the, the ammunition, the 200 round ammunition limit, and how that's linked to dedicated status and not at all to a Section 16 license. Now we have had disagreements in the past, but he's now he's now come 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 around to our way of thinking, and he's now confirmed that, um, and and that's fantastic because a lot of people listen to Martin. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> so um, um, so Martin, big ups, thank, thank, you, thank you very much for that. Yes. Uh, so go and watch the video. We're, we're going to drop the video in at the end of this uh, of, of the the live session here. Uh, Gus's legal opinion is um, on uh, Tax Shacks uh, X. Yes, and uh, Tax Shacks Facebook page. Uh, uh, Gus's Facebook page. Gus's Facebook page. And Gus's sorry. Facebook sorry. page. Sorry. But we've also reposted it from, I think, Gus's X page. Mm. Uh, yeah, so, so Gus the Law did, a, did an analysis of the situation where she went and looked at. So there was an, there's an advocate uh, um, from Ruin that, that sent us uh, his, his, his official opinion. Uh, but it was in 2017 or something. So this is not something new. It's it's. But this is nice that it's now been it's now been represented it's, by Martin. It's been affirmed and, uh, and you know. Been so so and, and we we actually analysed the situation. I think earlier this year, Gosa Lord did. And in July, we produced a, a an opinion, uh, a, a breakdown of, of, of Von Royen's opinion and and uh, our own uh, legal counsel's opinions. Um, we produced that in, Ju in July this year, um, so we welcome Martin coming onto the team. Fantastic. It's, it's, it's important. No, no criticism at all. The more people we have singing from the same song sheet, the stronger our, the stronger our voice is. Absolutely. So well done, Martin. So um, if anyone just on that same yes. um, subject, if you're a Section 13 license holder, GOSA and NAFA are affiliated partners. And if yep. you want to get your dedicated status, you yep. can, you can so, get so, it through NAFA. So, so again, the, the dedicated status has got nothing to do with the license, but you need the dedicated status in order to get a Section 16 license. It's mm -hmm. got to be the foundation for that. Mm -hmm. But the dedicated status is awarded by an accredited association, such as NAFA or, or NACHI. Yeah. Sorry, uh, Monty, you still wanted to say uh, about the membership and stuff. 
food also and then no so if you got so I know a lot of the guys ask about if I've got section 13 can I still get indicated status yes you can because it's awarded to you as the person like Paul says it's not linked to the license yes you need dedicated status to apply for a section 16 license um, that's a prerequisite but you're allowed to have dedicated status without the section 16 and that is which sure. could be helped with NAFA yes. with so if you've got a GOSA membership you can get a um, dedicated status um, through NAFA and we will link your GOSA membership as well and it's at a discounted rate and it's a nice discounted rate NAFA is easy to use yep. they're nice people and I've always said there's something <laughs> I like to be in business with nice people yes. uh, Tag Shack Cheating Club, Club is also affiliated to NAFA and it's easy for my easy. members to actually um, update they've the got device. a phone app you just take the photo and submit it and it's done boom your submission is <laughs> done it is and your first point, and you do quite three yes. points for NAFA for dedicated status, and your first point is just being a GOSA member. Yes. Done. Done. So Simple as really, that. Really not that <laughs> difficult. Um, it's also important if you start shooting uh, major competitions with your Section 13 license. Yes, that's because, where you start. Uh, uh, how much do you need for something like the Africa Champs? How many rounds? Uh, probably 400. 400. Oh, violence. So, <laughs> So this is the other part, the one that the one that doesn't appear on camera. <laughs> Except for today. Except for today, by the way. So yeah, so around right, 400. So if you you won't be able to if you don't have dedicated status or if it didn't work, you would have never been able to to actually go and uh, compete in yes. these. So parties. even your even your self defense training mm. that some people offer. Yes. You've got to take more than 200 rounds with you. Yeah. yeah. For the 100%. training to be effective. Put it that way. So, so it's it's it's, you know, it's important. There, there is a proviso that if you buy ammunition at a shooting range that is able to sell ammunition, in other words, a shooting range that is attached to a gun. If you buy the ammo there, you can buy more ammo than, than 200 rounds without dedicated standards, providing you're going to expend that ammo on the range immediately. Immediately. Okay, I didn't know that. Hmm. So you can buy three or 400 rounds at, a, at, a, at, a, at wherever it is, and you can shoot the ammo out there, and, and that's all good. But you can't take it away. Yeah. Oh dear, the Rottweiler is getting in the pool. Oh my goodness, see. We might have a very wet Rottweiler. And he's been seat. chasing uh, uh, Cynthia around today because she's got a very nice uh, new cream pants. Uh, <laughs> and he's been uh, terrorizing her since this morning. So it's going to yeah. be worse now. Okay, okay. and then the, oh. to end off an era. Yeah. Um, I, the, today, uh, well, uh, as of Monday morning, I suppose, <laughs> officially, or as of Sunday, uh, I am no longer the, the, the Chief Executive Officer of GOSA. I'm handing the baton over to Monty. Monty's been with us from 2014, 2015, I think. Sure. Um, she's been on the Exco since, since then. We've, uh, she's spent the last... 12 months or 13 months actually because yeah. we started I think at the beginning of November, November. last year mm. um, working at GOSA and, uh, and, and totally immersing herself in what's going on so so we look forward to her new ideas um, we're handing the organization over in, in a better uh, a state than what it was when she joined mm -hmm. um, we've got exciting new things happening um, it's going to be great. It's going to be. I'll, I'll still be in the background, like a bad smell. Um, the uh, because of, because Ghost still works from our offices, um, but uh, but I'll be focusing on, on on our gun shop from from now on. In fact, I'm busy building the new showroom as we speak, <laughs> which is why I'm dirty and which is why which is why Uji's licking the dust off my legs. Uh, oh my just boy. Lost. Okay, so, so this is a whole new era, um, it's building on, on the successes that GOSA has achieved in the past and the GOSA is going to achieve a lot more in the future. Absolutely. Uh, we're stronger now than we've ever been, um, it's, it's going to be fantastic. And Monty's not just anybody, Monty knows about guns, she's been, shoot, uh, been a actor's I mean, I, 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 I don't particularly approve of the... the Shirt. <laughs> <specific laughs> <brand. laughs> <laughs> but, but yes, 
Yes. <laughs> Guess what she's shooting? I don't know. <laughs> so, but she's an active. She's active. She's been active in the gun rights and in the gun industry for a very long time, and she's the absolutely the right person. Anyway, and she's been been on the show with us for the last months, yeah. six months. Is yeah. it? No, probably. Yeah. Maybe. Michael. I don't know. Don't even know. <laughs> I, think we, I think we invited you onto the show that when, when, when you started working here. Yes, I yeah. think so. So, then so, so, so you all know her. When you phone us, you're probably going to speak to her. Yes. So in she's case, got lightning reflexes. Hope to see you guys on the right <laughs> show. <laughs> Trigger finger. Yeah. I might have some freeze now. <laughs> Yeah. There he goes. Have a fantastic weekend and we hope to see you tomorrow. tomorrow. So if you also just want to come and have a chat to some of the girls on fire, uh, we have a whole bunch of uh, us will be there. You can also just come and have a chat to us about uh, any specifics that you, requirements that you have uh, for next year. Fantastic. Absolutely. Thank you well, very much. Yeah, have, have a, a good weekend. weekend. Bye. Bye. Hi folks, Martin Hood here again. I haven't done a video recently, my apologies. I've received quite a few suggestions on what to do and uh, selecting what I need to do has been a little bit problematic. So it's gonna be a short, simple one today. I'm going to talk about ammunition limits. The debate whether you need to have a specific license uh, in terms of section 16 to have more than 200 rounds of ammunition or if you just need to be dedicated. We have a principle of interpretation in our law that says when someone drafts legislation it's deemed to be an expression of their intentions so it should be read against them so if they don't say what they want properly then they can't turn around and say actually we mean it to mean something else in due course so if you look at section 91 which deals with restrictions on ammunition the problematic section is the limitation of 200 rounds does not apply to a dedicated hunter, dedicated sports person, or professional hunter who holds a license issued in terms of this act. It does not say who holds a section 16 license in terms of this act. So, in my view, and I have changed my mind, in my view, you only need to be declared dedicated by your association your accredited association to be exempt from the 200 round ammunition limit. Whether the police see it that way or not is a different story. Go tell your local dealer what I say, get as much ammo as you want if you're dedicated. There are two other possible solutions of course. The first is go get a gun licensed in terms of section 16 which will help everybody or apply for an exemption from the ammunition limitation that is form SAPS 540. There's your solution. Very simply, also want to talk about the latest developments with the new police system. It's now called the Firearm Control Management System. It's due for release at the end of 2025, November 2025, according to the police. They've not consulted with anyone about the system. They haven't tested it with dealers, gunsmiths, manufacturers, or importers. So, will the system work? Let's see. Watch this space.